Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Innocent Christoph Gavin, and, uh, well, welcome back to another tips and tricks video for the Ace Attorney Online contest. Um, as I said last time, we were going to focus on cross-examinations, and that is exactly what we're going to do, and just making sure that everything, um, uh, is polished. So, uh, alright, so you go to set action, excuse me, no. You go to insert an event block, which is what I just did, and I hit cross-examination. Um, so basically, um, I'm going to start with the basics, and then I'm going to work up towards the tips. Um, so insert some frames, uh, and add some statements. Now, the thing that I kind of don't like about Ace Attorney Online, um, even though it's not that big of a deal, is that there's no real section for witness testimonies. So you basically have to create... Um, the witness testimony themselves. Uh, for example, let's go to one I've already made. Um, actually, I don't think we're going to uh, play around with this. Um, let's... Yeah, sorry, I actually changed my mind. Yes, I'm sure I would like to delete the cross-examination. Let's go up to one of the cross-examinations I've already done. Um, I don't want to... Spoil anything in case you haven't played my case or what I have so far. So let's go to say uh, this one. So, um, so we start with you know the text, right? And then you just have the music playing, and you know what he says. Transition, and we're out. Just it's normal incorporated into the storyboard. There's no set section, or it's not considered an event block. So then what you do is you, one by one, uh, copy and paste the text into a cross-examination, make it green, you know, to be consistent, and then you'll go from there. So I uh, just wanted to bring that up. Um, it would be kind of nice if you could kind of duplicate it, um, but, you know, it's fine. So we've reached the cross-examination. So the first thing you want to do is insert a frame that says, hold it! So what you're going to do is, in your screen editor, uh, make sure the characters are there, and I see that I haven't really edited much of the, uh, the older stuff, so why don't we do that? Uh, make sure it matches up with the, uh, the sprite on the screen currently, um, that would be this one. So just have them there, and just have them don't talk, and bam, that's it. So then you'll have the objection, uh, whatever, bubble above, hold for 2,000 seconds, like I said in my last video, for the bubbles. And then you can continue from there. So just, this is your pressing statement. Um, that's what inserting a frame after this means. Uh, so it, this the whole thing won't appear unless you press. And once you do that, um, this was a special case, but I reckon because it's like a joke, but um, you want to have a black transition afterwards usually. Um, and then it'll go to the next one. Um, again, if you press, um, make sure you have the screen shake. Um, you don't have to, but again, it's another thing to boost your polish of your trial. So I recommend... Um, are we going good? Yeah, we're going good. Uh, I recommend putting in a shake. Um, I definitely do. It won't appear in a text box, don't worry. Um, and we have an objection from Manfred von Karma. Okay. So, you get the point. Now, uh, let's talk about the contradiction. So, we have... I've inserted a contradiction right here. And it is this piece of evidence, and it redirects to 196. Where is 196? Bam. So, Ace Attorney Online, you've probably figured out, you have all the tools, you just gotta link it all together. And that's basically how it works here. So you're gonna link it to uh, a frame that you insert after the cross-examination. That'll be the objection. Continue the story from there. Um, yeah. Um, so... Make sure you have your contradictions good and all that. Make sure there's only one. Uh, um, and yeah, um, there's not that much else to say with that. Now let's go to the co-counsel. Let's open the co-counsel conversation. This is if you get to the end of the testimony and you talk to whoever's at the defense, for uh, the counsel bench for me, it's Maya. Um, so I have you know them commenting on the testimony. That one's very short, might add to it later. Um, but then the failure conversation is when you present evidence that is incorrect you know it's just not the right answer have your objection you know you have to do that yourself and then make sure somewhere here you have reduced health points 
I recommend 20. That's like the normal, like, small hit off of the health bar. So, you know, um, excluding the investigations games, um, just think of the court games. Uh, when you have a health bar hit, the lowest amount is 20. In the investigations games, that's not true. Uh, mainly because the bar is much longer, because it's used a lot more, but you know what I'm saying. If you just want to know, you know, what is a decent size, 20 is good. Uh, if it's like a bigger penalty, 40 I'd say, and you can start engaged from there. Um, yeah, so that is the cross-examination. Um, it's not that complicated, it just takes a while with all the copy and pasting and whatnot. Um, and make sure that's really solid. It can take quite some time. I, I didn't try and make it seem like it was nothing, but um, it's not too complex now. Um, we do have a bit more time in this episode, so I want to uh, go over something else, and that is characterization. So here I've made profiles. Um, I recommend... Um, so obviously you, are, you guys are all aware that you must... Um, if you're using a main character for a sprite base, it has to be that character. So, for example, Manfred's sprite can't be used for Jim Bob, you know. Um, otherwise, you can't use Manfred's sprite. That is a rule here. Um, but a minor character, such as Kyle Carling, uh, Richard Wellington, I could make Kyle Carlington and pretend he's someone completely different. Same with Maggie Bird. And I'm sure you also know that I consider the main characters to be what AAO considers to be main characters, and it's everyone you see here. I know there are repeats, but you get the point. Everyone here is a main character that I would consider a main character. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this Tips and Tricks video, and I will see you as we get closer to the competition next Friday with a more in-depth video. Uh, we're just going to keep stacking it up, so I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.